All right, YouTube, we're going to play some Blue Black Bolus. Playing the OO against the 2 2. That sucks. And yeah, I think we're going to keep this. I don't know. We have, we have a champion wit, so what can go wrong? What can go wrong with a champion wit? Something if they play a land or elf. That goes wrong. All right, well, at least we can kill it. Put a card on top. Okay. Rish car. Let's see if they do this. Put it in the bottom. If they put this on the bottom, this makes me think they need lands, and they kept that. So they probably have lands. So I kind of just want to slow them down from playing that Gear Hulk. I might as well just slow them down anyways. I can contempt the Hulk. So I might as well just slow everything down a little bit. One sleep siphon here. Okay, so they're like a they're like an energy deck. I can't believe they kept that murderous gear hulk. That seems so greedy. Yes. Okay, probably discard. Fetid pools. I'm gonna be tapping out, so I don't know when I'm gonna be able, when I'm gonna have the opportunity to deal with this essence scatter. Cause like my turn's gonna go hit this. Like I think I want to go like this and this, and then go like Faraska's contempt into Bolus. I think that's my plan. Puppies making noise over there. I kind of just want to chump block here. Just like preserve my life total. Don't get too far. The champion witch is better than the graveyard anyways. Another siphoner makes me want to just play Bolus now. Yeah, well now that there's two, I think I'm just going to... Blue, red... So they ditch their Hulk. Jeez. So I probably just trade. And then probably just contempt this winding constrictor. Because everything's gonna get out of control if this winding they untap like winding constrictor is what's is gonna be the real tough card. If they only had one Glinsley Siphoner, I'd hit that, but they have two. We're pretty close to just stabilizing here. It's nice my opponent's on two lands, like that's definitely helping. Okay, so now they're cracking me for six. So if I hit a land drop, we're gonna pass with this gear hulk up. They're drawing two more cards though, which is so scary. I actually might do it on the main phase. Just so they can't um Yeah, I'm gonna do it on my main phase so they don't like blossoming defense me. Cuts them off from drawing a card also. Which is important. If they choop it, then we can bring it back down the line. These Glensley siphoners. Yeah, that card's good. Here comes Choops. 
That's gross. So I'm not sure I've got a draw here because, well, I guess this only puts me at three. I can hit this, then go to four. So I can actually bring back the bolus, bring back Torrential Gear Hulk, hit this, then have two blockers up. That's probably my best play. So let's go bring back, hit this, bring, or bring back Torrential Gear Hulk, excuse me. Cast down. Hit the thing that it's going to kill me. Play my land. And now we just got to untap. If we untap, I think we're in good shape. A few cards kill me. Like another Choops kills me. There, they got it. So we would have survived there if I would have um, if I would have uh, Veraska's Contempt. So maybe that was right to do. Then I could have done this play next turn. I'm not super sure. I think I just want all my removal. Um, probably don't need like as much of my grind package. I just gotta like make it through the first couple turns. I always see people shave Champion of Wits in this matchup. Probably can cut a Bolas because their, their creatures get so big. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? I probably don't need all these Bloodfasts. Well, Bloodfasts are so good, though. So many fours. So many fours. Maybe these Essence Extractions are kind of... I'll go with the Essence Extractions are kind of loose. <clears throat> I heard you got in touch with Johnny. He's figuring things out. Good, good. Yeah, his teammate's really busy, and it's tough because he he works in the he works for like the army. He's also been playing standard elves in arena. That's pretty cute. <laughs> nice. Well, the new two drop, the green two drop's pretty good, and it's blue. So I opened up a recall in a treasure chest. Look at that. I don't know what it's worth. So I can't tell. I know it's like I don't know what version it is. Cause like it goes anywhere from like three tickets to forty tickets, depending on the depending on the version. Is that then it's like the four tickets one, which is sad. But it's still worth something. Her match started yet? Nope, not yet. All right, I would like to play first. Oh, his hand's slow. His hand's so slow. It kind of can catch up though. I think you're just supposed to keep a lot of hands with this deck. I'm not super sure. That's awesome. Love me some 40 tickets action. I could see this being mulligan though. <clears throat> yeah, this is the land war. Oh, it's an Avengers Impulse. Okay. Okay, so they found a constrictor. Armorcraft Judge. 
Okay, so we're cycling that. Do the uh, do the card. Um, farm or craft judge. Elf, whenever in the battlefield, draw a card for each creature control plus one. Oh, I can see that. A lot of synergy. Get your walking blisters going on. Give you a payoff there. One of my friends, yeah, that's a lot. One of my friends, um, one of my friends was on camera around for the SCG today. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably just gonna get Henny's expertise anything, and then slam the Scare God, like, and just hope that the Scare God wins us the game. Hopefully I can put in like a, like a, um, a Gwen Sleeve Siphoner, that would be gas. Siphon off the top would be sweet, to expertise into. That is the plan. All right, that's pretty good. So let's get our energy. This takes like their removal spell. Target when it reveals their hand, you exile a card. Yeah, we're just gonna take this contempt. And then we're gonna just slam God and hope that works out. Constrictor. If my opponent plays double constrictor, then I'm I'm just gonna do this again. I'm not gonna let them make a ballista that's a million a million. <clears throat> just get the two for ones when you can. Place forest. What is this? Four mana. Play Gonti. We'll blister for two. Okay. Into a land of elf. All right. So I know the last couple cards. That's pretty good. So I'm probably gonna push something at the end of the turn just to use my mana. And then I'm probably not going to upkeep my Scarab God. I'm going to wait because we have this Vraska's Contempt. And probably get something like this Jade Light Ranger. Six mana. Okay, so here comes a Vraska of their own. I'll probably just push. No, no, Ballista. Okay. So just gonna wait until my end step and then shoot this scare god. Okay, we're just gonna pass here. And we're definitely just gonna get back this Jade Light Ranger. I think I'm gonna attack too. Yeah, I did. I, the from Jessup. Those were pretty sweet. So they attack. Which one? This one. Let's push it. 
Yeah, those were like that deck's brilliant. Okay. So they're gonna kill my Scare of God. And I'm gonna get back their Jade Light Ranger. I'm gonna let him attack. They go and put a counter on this, then I'll push it. Push this. I mean, the game, the deck creates some pretty interesting games. Okay. I'll respond to the last one. I could just get back a Ballista, but I think I would rather just Jade Light Ranger it. Blue, black. Click target card to put it on top of your library. Put on top. And then I'm just going to play this land out. Because, like, my. It's just my whole game plan is pretty mana intensive. Yeah, I think I wanted, I think I would rather, I just like the card selection, I guess. Like, I just want lands, basically. Like, when you have the Scare of God, all you want is just to hit your land drops. So that was my idea. Like, I'm going to win the game no matter what, if, as long as I have enough mana to do stuff. So it didn't really matter what the Ballista was, I guess. Those two Yehenny's expertises were great. I'm going to bring in more removal on the draw. I think I'm going to cut my blood fasts. Might even keep bring these champions. Now, these champions are so, so, such, such, so, they're such small ball. Probably want these, these gifted Aetherborns as well on the draw. Like, what's too slow? Probably this commit memory is too slow. Probably don't need all Nicol Boluses. Probably can shave a Hulk. Go something like this. Get a little leaner on the draw. Gifted Aetherborn's a pretty big game. I feel like this deck doesn't need Torrential Gear Hulk and it should play the Eldest Reborn. Hopefully we don't get run over. I could easily see us getting run over here, though. Like, we definitely want to have a fatal push in our opening hand. <laughs> if we had, like, push Aetherborn cast down in our hand, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You can get back Planeswalkers, too. Like, these Torrential Gear Hulks seem kind of silly. We're playing a big, dumb six drop that's going to die to uh, whatever it is. Unlicensed disintegration, or like when their zombies are so fast, seems just weird. And if you play Eldest Reborn with like these Yehenny's expertise, then you can deal with the Vryn Wingmares or whatever if they get a creature, if they get an enchantment on it. Like they're just an X3. I'm not sure though. These bolosses are pretty sweet though. I've cast boloss once, it's great.
Billy's over there, right behind me sleeping. We went on like a four mile walk today, my wife and I this morning. Went out to get coffee and then ran some walk somewhere to uh, to try some uh, went to a hardware store. Yeah, we'll keep this. Well, maybe I got a mulligan. Maybe I should, because I can't even cast my gifted Aetherborn. Maybe I'm just supposed to mulligan this hand. I think I'm going to. Because like there's no guarantee that I can cast my cards. I can't kill like a one drop. Alright, I'm only going to run six. Alright, we can kill something. This is gonna be an ugly game. Yeah, we're just gonna use our energy and play a whole shitload of tap lands. I'm not even sure it's correct to push like Llanowar Elves against this deck because of how in high impact all their two drops are. I wouldn't mind like a basic island. Basic island would make my life kind of hard actually because I can't cast. Basic swamp would be sweet. Because if I cast basic swamp, I can at least then play Essence Extraction on three. So I would like Basic Swamp. Yes. Now I don't want any more lands. Hopefully they don't Blossoming Defense one of my creatures. Brain Wingmare. Alright, well at least we're going to gain some life. Slow my opponent down a little bit. Like, so they have to use all their energy to cast the black spell. Yep, this thing is gross. Can't be blocked by black creatures. That's every creature in my deck. So I need to get a Doomfall or a Champion of Wits to kill this thing. Or reanimate. No, because they even make their, their creatures black. So this thing's a nut. So they, drew, they hit a land. I could also draw um, expertise. That was neither of those. We're probably gonna die a pretty painful death here. Pretty painful. So I said I think we might need more edicts to deal with like this friend, swing mare here. Miss Choops. Ballista. Alright, we're not even going to fatal push that thing. We're going to draw expertise like a professional. Nope. Scoop it up. What a beating. What a beating that was. Alright, let's get back in there. A couple more games. That wingmare was such a beating. Like, thing's just huge. It's huge, you can't kill it. Ban it. You gotta ban it. It's better than Chain Ruler. I'm kidding. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. If you guys want to hit the follow button, that would be sweet. See when I go live here more, or see when I go live. Usually stream every Wednesday night and Sunday morning, but I've been streaming a lot more lately. I've just had the time. All right, we will keep. I'm going to play Canyon Slow on one. Probably cycling this, um, this Fetid Pools. On two, or not on two, but I'm gonna be cycling this because we have enough to not get run over. But after that, we don't really have a lot. I 
We just want to make sure that we don't get buried. And I think this deck's like got the superior late game to most decks. Oh, so this is like a ramp deck. All right. Field through this turn. Yield until the next end step. It's going to be tough to go over the top of this thing. This is like the Sifter Worm deck. I need a Bolas, like right now. So we're going to do this because we might cycle into a Glensley Siphoner. That's like, that's right up our alley. Nope. Probably dead. Honestly, I don't think we can beat this card. This card's just going to be without, especially without like having, uh, having drawn. At least it doesn't ramp, it doesn't put them into play. Need a Bolas or a Glen Sleeve Siphoner and quick. Champion of Wits wouldn't even be that bad. Brask's Contempt is that bad. We're just going to die a very slow and painful death here. Guess I can yield until the next end step. Kicked grow. <coughs> I'm so scared of what's going to happen to me. Okay, so that turns into a maze of it. Okay. Alright, that's something at least. Yield through this turn. Don't kill my dude, you jerk. What a jerk. My opponent's probably gonna jam something like a sandworm convergence. Sifter worm. Scry three, reveal the top card. Probably just gonna contempt this just to use all my mana. Hour of Devastation, okay. And I'm just going to kill this thing to do something with my mana. Because, like, these spells aren't doing anything else anyways. So I can just jam this Scare of God and make them use their Wrath, which kind of ties up their next turn. And then we can, you know, just figure it. We'll just do it again next turn. Wow, I just didn't tap for black mana at all. Lose indestructible. Each non bolas planeswalker. So it doesn't kill little Nikki B. That's good to know. Does it kill the creatures? Oh, so it does it kills the creature version of Bolas, but not the um, not the planeswalker. Alright, we're gonna deal with that sifter worm. Yeah, I should just like kill this, reanimate their sifter worm. This should prompt a response from my opponent. At least make them our next turn. Even though I've got 42 life. Put on the put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Put on top. Put on top. I actually should have I should have put my land on top. Just to hit a land drop, because like with the scare guy, you just all you want to do is hit land drops. Uh, you just let me, 
Let me attack there. I guess they're cycling. Okay. So we're going to play another Sifter Worm. <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on. Just want to make sure to stay ahead on time, I guess. Okay, so they got the arch. So they have the hour. I don't really think that I want to do return any creatures. Because I want to leave my scarabra with enough food. Yeah, we can put this on top. Oh, shoot. You don't need them drawing a million cards a turn. They're, they're going to be able to untap my spires, but I just don't think that's what this game's going to be about. And I'm going to cast Champion anyways, because I'm not really worried about Champion being in the graveyard. Rather turn these two dead fatal pushes into something. Yes. Deal through this turn. Yield through this turn. So I'm probably gonna play Scare of God and Siphoner after they hour me. Okay, so they spring, sprung, I guess they drew cards. Hostile desert. I have no idea what my opponent's doing here. They're trying to, I guess, be this big mana ramp deck and go over the top of me. But they just don't seem to have the payoffs. Like, hours sweet, but... Like, what, what, what's making your deck good? There's no Umog. Grow from the ashes kicked, okay. Another one of these. Put on top. We're just going to make land drops. Get rid of these. I probably should pop out my graveyard so that I can see what's going on here. So they're going to exile my Scarab God, then I'm going to play Glintsley Siphoner and be able to draw a card. So we still have four nickel bolluses in the deck. And we've got four the four nickel bolus is what we're looking for now. Because bolus should win us the game. We're gonna braid, which kills my siphoner. I'm gonna hold this um, hold this siphoner. There's no sense in getting it or braided. We're looking for Bolas. We're 35 cards in. We haven't seen any of them yet. Should have held that for a champion of wits, but I guess we're discarding this fatal push basically no matter what. Alright, that's a good one. That's going to find us what we're looking for. Do have a counter spell? Commit, okay. <clears throat> that makes sense. And they're almost out of Sifter Worms. And I think they've 
Yeah, they're exiled three out of the four of their Sifter Worms. So I don't really know how they win in this spot. All right, spin the wheel. So there's, so we got Nikki. This is fine. So we're gonna play the Doomfall before we cast Nikki. So target opponent reveals their hand. We take the answer to Bolas. All right, we're going to hope that they do not. All right, we're going to help them out, hooking them up that. With that, so we're just going to ditch these lands. Probably missing this a little bit. All right, pass through the turn. I mean, once this bullet slips, we should be in good shape. I'm not even going to attack with it. I don't get what my opponent's end game is. So you're going to exile with your scavenger grounds now. Hour. Okay. So now we get two desert, two zombies, which I guess is an end game. So let's start by hitting their hand, so we know what to, we got to play around here. All right. So let's get rid of this abrade. Play Champion of Wits. Ditch of Contempt. And a land. I'm probably going to run out of ways to actually like win the game pretty soon. Unless they just want to make these things like 40 40s. I guess I could make a bunch of zombies and make them huge. So their Spring to Mine's gone. So one of these are gone. They played a Hesha Oasis. Looks like they played both of these. Yeah, I don't know any of the cards in their hand. I guess they have one more spring to mine. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's flash back this champion. Let's find a Bolas. Yes. Okay. Now we're in business. Let's ditch this. And then let's ditch this Essence Scatter. Play Nikki. And then my opponent should be pretty well out of this game, I think. We have 20 cards in our deck, which is worth noting. I mean, my opponent's probably going to deck themselves before we do. Our sure. Bring back Nikki. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't can't flip at the same turn. Ooh. All right. So let's. They're gonna be able to exile it because of the scavenger grounds. I missed that. So let's try to get this back. They exile. And then I'll just play Blood Fast and pass. I'm going to actually start figuring out what I have left in my deck to win with. I've got one Scare of God and two Bolas in my last however many cards there are.
That was a mistake on my part. I should have just started going up because this is how I'm going to win the game. That was a punt. I just missed the scavenger grounds. Okay, so let's get rid of this. I'm probably not going to use this Argos Blood Fats very much, but. Oh, they're going to just mill me out with these if new review ads. I'm dead six ways to Sunday here. Yeah, I messed this up. They're going to mill me out. Yep. Yep, we're dead. I might as well just save my time. I guess we'll. Whew. So we're going on the beatdown plan around in, in game two. So I guess these lands are like how they win these late games here. These dead lands. That's, that's a good way to do it. Because, like, their deck doesn't really do anything. And they just mill people out, and that's how they win. All right. All right, that makes sense. What an odd game. I thought I had that one for sure the whole way down. Like, they're not doing anything, but then I just wasn't paying attention to their lands. How weird. So I guess we want the negates... These duresses. Um, probably want another blood fast. I doubt I want pushes. Essence scatters probably aren't good because the only creature is going to have our carnage tyrants. And these contempts aren't very good either. I probably just cut my contempts and play expertise so I don't get get got by. Um, no, actually no. I'm just going to bring in all these gifted ether warrants because they attack. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We have the Doom Falls to make sure we don't get got by Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, I kept thinking to myself, like, what is going on in this game? And then my opponent's like, this is what's going on. I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose. <laughs> this standard is not my expertise. I am the modern player for our team. Usually takes me a while to delve back into a standard format and play something that's play anything that's decent. I kind of wish we've only got one commit, which is going to make it tough to beat Carnage Tyrant. If that guard comes down, I would like to play first. Yes. All right, we'll keep this hand. Also, like, what an odd. We had a super odd draw. Why well, nothing but lands? Okay. I kind of want to deny my opponent lands as well. I guess this compass is their best best way to fight that. I really want to negate the hour of promise. I hate how Moto does this. So they have one commit. They had two commits. Yeah, and the card they drew. Okay, okay, okay. I guess even if they get to blow up my Nikki, then we're still going to be able to get a card out of their hand and bring it back. I'm going to negate anything here, because I'd like to use my mana the rest of the game. All right, we need land drops. We get Nikki into play. Damn it. No Nikki. Um, I'm going to cast it, even though my opponent does get to Hour of Promise. They probably ditch one of their commits. They get to Hour next turn. Then we get to sit behind this Nickel Bolas and just attack. If we reveal it, alright. Win condition. So here's Hour. 
They get some zombies. They probably get the arch. And then another desert. All right, search your library for up to two land cards within the battlefield tap. And show the if you control three or more deserts. Okay, so they're not going to get the zombies if, if they get the arch. I enjoy playing. I'm not very good at standard, but I enjoy playing it. Alright, we're just gonna attack in. Play my tap land. Probably commit one of these. Might just do it to like get it in the graveyard. At the end of the turn, make so they don't can't like explode with their mana. Rootbound Craig. And if they commit mine, I'm just gonna play another one. If I draw a land, I can go like Nikki and Negate. And plus having the commit is good. Yeah, I think we're gonna, I think this is worth negating. Still these in our deck. All right. So we're definitely winning this race, but now I can cast down one of these and reserve this for a spell, which is pretty great. And that pretty significantly changes the clock. I would like to hit land drops though. And this slows things down by quite a bit. That Bloodfast is nice, but we're not going to play it. We're going to keep up our commit. My opponent might commit my Nikki at the end of my turn here. Kind of want to commit their commit. Yeah. Well. I have another one. Yeah, I guess I just let this go. Hit their next spell. I can commit this at the end of their turn if I need to. Because I know they have hour and four unknowns. It's like Carnage Tyrants is what gets me here. Um, yeah, you got it. They're probably going to name Scare of God. I really don't want to commit this zombie because it makes so they don't lose anything off this Hour of Devastation. So I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to make them get rid of this zombie if they want to Hour me. Okay. Gives their hour. Then with Bola slips, we should be in good shape also. And we can like flash this gear hulk in at the end of the turn, pressure them. So they can't tap for blue anymore. Or they're pretty much dead to, at instant speed to this torrential gear hulk, which is pretty good for the home team. I really like the games that these mid range, these standard mid range decks like make. Just gonna block. They have an abrade, they have an abrade. That was an hour.
Yep. I just want to play Volus and Bloodfast. Just keep harassing them. Could hold up the Gear Hulk, but I don't know. I like being able to double spell here. Girl from the Ashes kicked, okay. It's like it's in their island. Now I'm going to have two lethal creatures and they're going to have two cards. I have to fight through a counter spell. And keep their scavenger ground. I guess keeping the scavenger grounds man is not going to be that hard for them. Because of uh, because of how much mana they have. I could have flipped it, but this doesn't go to the face, right? It was creature or planeswalker, yeah. And I guess I could have reanimated another boss, but they would have just exiled it with this. It's better to just I think just keep my mana. Imagine if you could instant speed flip this nickel bolas, how sweet that would be. It's like end of their turn. I'm going to cast like an hour of promise. I'm just going to commit it and draw a couple cards with Argo's Bloodfest, I think. Because I need to have like, I guess hour of progress doesn't even do it. Yeah, they just scoop it up. Them's the beats. Let me a little harder on the draw, but I think I'm just going to send it back here. I didn't see anything that makes me want to change it. Dude, this, this, uh, um, this bull is sweet. It gives this deck like an actual can win the game now. Like something that comes down and does something you can attack with. Big fan. Big fan of Nikki B. Yep, we're going to keep this. We got a duress on one, a field for some interaction. Champion of Wits just fixes everything. Yeah, I'm just going to take this compass. Oh, I hate this. They had two of these. They just played the rivulet. Probably shouldn't have these cast downs in my deck. I guess maybe some removal is okay, so I don't get, you know, all ran over. So I drew that and that. Okay. So I know their hand. They have our commit, commit. So we're just going to play Champion of Wits now. Because you have to keep some bad cards in your deck in order to. Um, Make it worth, uh, geez. Um, I think I'm just going to go like this. Keep some bad cards in your deck in order to get rid of the champion wits. Cross the desert. Exile land card from your graveyard. So poke in here. I'm not going to cycle this Fetid Pools until the end of their turn. Yep, you got it. We could use the filtering. No place for our opponents. They have nothing but spells. Okay.
Jeez. So I think I'm going to go like this. And then look to rebuy the Siphoner with the Liliana in future turns. I probably shouldn't have ditched, I shouldn't have ditched my Field of Ruin. That was a huge mistake. Maybe we'll just like sit here and attack with this Champion of Wits for the rest of the game. Sorcerer's Spyglass. That's kind of annoying. But probably okay. Because I can hit it, and then they'll commit it. Yeah, I guess we just let it go. We have so many champion with like effects in our deck that um that we can deal like we can sift away this. This poor card. I think we just want to protect our champion too. Now that we picked up a land, we've got double counter spell up. They try to kill this champion. I'll probably just gonna let it happen no matter what they do. This thing. Because it's gonna let me get rid of this Liliana, which basically makes this card useless. I'm going to play this. I think I'm going to want plenty of mana. They might mill me. But if they mill me, I just get to flash the champion back. Which is still like big big problems for our opponent. Yeah, now we get to just blank their spyglass basically. With the turn of the champion. I guess I should turn off auto yields. I'll play this just to force their hand on the Hour of Devastation. We can even fight over it. It's not even like that bad for us. All right, Spray Champion. You got it. I guess I can't cast the Hour, but like that'll change eventually. I think that's worth countering. Taps my opponent out so they can't use it. Just let it go, okay. So there's the arch. One, two, three. Okay, so here comes our, sure. So it turns on their arch, so we'll have to field it. Which like isn't really a big deal. It's kind of unfortunate that we don't have a an energy. Uh, attack. And I might fail. If I go to double block, I'll just cast down one cast. I guess I actually don't. Because they've got. So let's just get rid of one of these. Oh, no, I don't actually. Well, no, because I made the attack, now I've got to. So it gives my opponent the opportunity to get rid of my Champion of Wits. But then I get to play Glensleaf Siphoner with um, Commit up and then draw some cards. But I think I prioritize just having the creatures or making sure I have threats. Which I've got this. Gonna have this eventually. We're gonna draw Nicol Bolas eventually as well. And we should be in good shape. Bloodfast is a pretty big game. 
Bloodfest is probably just going to win. We're just like grinding our opponent into the dust. And we're going to use the Bloodfest in order to hit a land drop. No, actually, I don't want to use it. Because I would like to make sure I can commit something. So this gets exiled, right? Yeah, I guess we'll just try to keep them off it. Because we know that one of their cards is basically a dud. One puppy is so tired. I'm going to take him out after. After this league, I don't know how many more matches I'm going to play. It's pretty late, and this league's going long. Cycle Shell and Thicket. They might just scoop it up. We see the writing on the wall. I think if they have to, I guess they can't hour, they don't have the mana to do that. Commit my blood fast, okay. Then they're gonna sack a dead land to shuffle it away. I don't really want to wheel my commit to be the first to do that when they have so much mana. They just definitely blood land it, okay. So I guess now I can play my um, Siphoner because we have a backup. And the backup's just going to immediately replace itself because of the energy. So yeah, they get both of these. Okay, so they milled over my blood fast. So let's actually, yeah, I think we're actually gonna cycle this. We hit like a duress. We hit another blood fast. So let's cast this. And now we're just like millions of cards. Game's probably over at that point. At this point, I mean, we're not that close to being milled out. So we've got 30 plus 30 cards in our library. And they're on a four turn clock. Alright, it's a big game. Kind of, I guess. Yes. Drew Hub. Alright. So we're going to draw another card next turn, play one of these, then pass. So I get back an hour. Oh, that was a mistake on my part. They got hour back. I thought that the spring to mind was the instant. That was a super punt. I'm tired. I think we're going to call it after this one. I'm making some mistakes. Maybe we'll hit negate on this. I guess we don't even really want to negate this. And I missed tap there because I didn't have my siphoner in play. I should have drawn another card. But at least we can go up with the Doomfall. Okay. So let's see what they got. Exile that. Play God. They get to draw four cards off this Mirari's, I guess. I guess, wait, hang on. Oh, this is an instant or sorcery? Yeah, we're, I am exhausted. We're just making all kinds of mistakes. Because now they can, I guess they can't get their hour back. So, they've literally only got, like, spring to mind to cast. 
So they draw four cards. They're down a lot of mana. And likely we just catch them in cards. So maybe like land hour and it still doesn't really fix the problem. Yeah. We got it. Opponent's dead. Yep. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I'm a little tired. We're making some mistakes. I think we're going to call it a stream there. I appreciate everyone. I hope they have a great rest of their night. I will see you all tomorrow.